there are quite a few rendering settings in, in Blender, and sometimes as a beginner, it's very difficult to, um, to understand them and quite intimidating. Uh, one thing is a lot of Blender tutorials don't actually go in depth of how you render um, a beginner animation, and so that's what I'm gonna try to cover in this video. Um, one thing is the fact that this is gonna be done in cycles, and also this is just for um, very basic rendering. If you're looking for a very um, detailed shot or a specific kind of shot, then definitely go ahead and actually learn the rest of this. But if you're just a beginner that wants to render a simple shot, um, then this is definitely the video for you. Let's go and get started here. Like I said, we're gonna be doing this in cycles render. Um, Go ahead and set your, your device here. If you have a GPU compute, definitely use that. It'd be a lot faster than CPU. Um, we have rendering samples. If this value is higher, you have a more detailed shot. If this is lower, you have a, a, a less detailed shot. However, the higher you go here, um, the more time it takes for it to render. So definitely balance that out. Do you want more time or more quality? So I find that a good average is 100. Again, this depends on what shot you're doing. If it's a very simplified shot, then definitely go for a higher for a higher value. Um, down here we have motion blur. And this is pretty much the only setting I want you to really go into um, when you're doing a beginner shot. If you're running a still picture, then you probably can leave this off. However, if it's an animation or a picture from an animation, definitely check this value. Um, this is your shutter speed. This is low and high, of course. More, this is more motion blur. This is less motion blur. Uh, 0.5 works well for me. Um, we have the output area. This is the tab right here. If you're looking for a specific number of um, pixels, then definitely go here because, like, for instance, on your YouTube channel, your your channel banner has to have a uh, has to have at least a certain number of pixels, and you know you would you you'd want to change that down here. Uh, however, it's, I usually leave this on default. This is your resolution; it's at 100%. It used to be, however, in Blender versions uh, 2.79 or lower, it was at 50% as a default. So now it's 100%. So keep that in mind. 50% resolution is probably pretty good. Again, it depends on, on what kind of shot you're looking for. Um, it actually interacts largely with your number of render samples, so just kind of keep those balanced. 50% uh, or 100% is fine. I would not suggest using a random number like 17% or 65% because if it needed to match another um, another set of frames, you're going to start running into resolution problems. Keep this in either 50% or 100%. Um, again, it depends on your animation or your or your or your picture. This is your aspect ratio. Let's go into camera view. There we go. Your aspect ratio is done here. Now, for me, if I want to go for more of you know a little bit wider of a shot, I do this with a mask. So it really just depends on what you're looking for. Personally, again, a mask works well for me later on in my editor. If you want to do it in Blender, this is where you would do it. Um, so yeah, you have your aspect ratio. We have um, frame start and frame end. This is just the same thing as right here. Yeah, that's where you change that. And um, we have your frame rate. Again, this is up to you. You hit, you can make a custom frame rate. That's good. But yeah, again, this is just up to you. Um, 24 frames per second as default. It works well for me, so I'll leave it on that. Now, output is the main focus right now. This is um, the default folder. For me, it's, um, it's the TMP folder. Definitely consider changing this because, like, you can see I've already filmed mine up from, from several years ago when I didn't understand how to <laughs> how to render. So definitely, um, yeah, definitely give an actual folder designated for that. Then we have uh, your file format. This is, you know, probably the most important place here. If you're rendering an animation from the 3D viewport that's, you know, very detailed and it might take 10, 20 hours to render, I do not recommend using a video format because if you do that, and you know, maybe maybe your computer has to shut down or you have to you have to cancel rendering, then you basically lose your work. There may be a way to recover. It just kind of depends because it's basically compiling the pictures that it's rendering into a video sequence automatically, which can be convenient if you're doing post in the UV editor. But for like a 3D viewport animation, I definitely recommend leaving it on PNG. And once it's finished rendering in PNG, because like if you're like at you know frame 150, for instance, and you have to cancel rendering, then you can you can click the escape button on your keyboard, and then it'll just stop right there. Then later on you can start it at 153 using the start value, then continue rendering, and then later on you can convert it from picture to video. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and go to the um, video sequencer and you can see this is basically on the timeline but what you do is after you finish rendering you press shift a and go to image slash sequence then go to your um, to your to your frames to the folder and press a to select them all select add image strip there you go this is your um, this is your animation here um, bring your end value all the way to here 
Mine was 150 frames long, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the end frame 150 right there. Now you can just go to the file format. Once you decide on, on, on these rendering settings, typically the best way to do this is just to leave it on default, but it's up to you. Uh, keep your frame rate the same and go to your output folder. This is where your video is going to be outputted, so set your, um, set your output folder. Then go to file format and choose one of the video formats. Um, you can do AVI JPEG, AVI RAW. Um, it, again, it really just depends on, on you and your computer. For me, however, I use FFmpeg video and I go to an encoding of MPEG4. So occasionally I use QuickTime or AVI, it depends on what I'm looking for. However, MPEG4 is the best, at least for me, it's, it's the best output uh, format. I just click the render animation. Then I would have converted it from pictures to video. And you can actually use this process to convert video to pictures. So it's the exact same thing. You just import a movie, then render it as um, um, PNG or whatever image uh, format you, you're looking for. So that concludes this video. Um, if you have any questions about this, you can ask me in the comments. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.